Hello everyone, only Draven here, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make and use the cauldron uh, in a couple different ways to get different types of materials that you're going to need moving on throughout the game. Um, so this one's going to be a pretty easy one today. I'm going to start off by showing how to make a cobblestone cauldron. And so to make a cauldron, you just take your material, in this situation, cobblestone, and you need seven pieces. You're just going to go around the outer edge, leaving the center and top open. And that will give you a cobblestone cauldron. Now, there are multiple different types of cauldrons. All the different woods. Uh, there's gold, diamond, glass, obsidian. The pattern to make the cauldron is the same in every situation. It's just that outer edge of the material of your choice. Um, now, early game, you may want to start with a wooden one to catch rainwater um, and a couple of the other stuff, but um, making lava in a wooden one, the wooden cauldron will catch on fire. So uh, we're going to go ahead and use cobblestone this time just so we can kind of show how everything works. So uh, again, there are several different ways to use a cauldron. Um, and early game, you're going to need it to make lava. Um, so there's to make it work in order to make lava, you have to have it over top of some type of heat source. A torch being the earliest and easiest way to do it. Um, now, if you just want to set a torch up like this, if you hold down the shift button and then right click, it will place it right on top of the torch. Right like that. So you don't have to put blocks up and then attach to the block. It's, it's much easier. Now, if you want to have it a little bit more eye level, you can go ahead and you can pop a torch down there. And then again, by sh holding down shift, you can set it right on top. As long as that heat source is under there, you can use it to make lava or a multitude of other different items. So, making lava in a cauldron is much easier in Sky Factory 4. You're just going to take cobblestone, right click four times, and you have lava. There's no cook time, there's no wait. And you can do that as easy or as often as you'd like. Just use a bucket container to take the lava out, and then you can just go ahead and put more, four more cobblestone in. Uh, there may be some ways to automate this later on, but we'll get that into a later tutorial. Um, so that's how you make lava in a cauldron. Very easy, as long as it's got a heat source, torch being the easiest right early game. Okay. The next one, of course, can be used to just catch rainwater. If it's raining, it will fill with water, uh, which is a, a slow way to get the water, uh, but it's still a way that you can do that in game. Um, if you use a crushing tub, then you can use crushing tub to get water and then fill your cauldron using, a, again, a, any form of bucket. Um, if you're not sure how to use a crushing tub to get water, I do have a tutorial that shows how to do that. Um, I will link that at the end of this video. Um, so the third thing um, that we, you can use a cauldron for is to make mud. So. If you take a cauldron, and this will work in pretty much all of them, and you put water in it, and then you put in a block of dirt, you then get mud. Now, mud is important for a couple of different things. There are a lot of different patterns you can use mud for. Um, for example, you know, we'll just pop this in here, we go to mud. There are the different mud buckets that can be used to turn a pig into different resource hogs, which again will be handled uh, a little bit later on into a future video. Um, and then the other thing is there are different items, um, especially saplings, that by clicking a, a sapling of one type into mud will turn it into a different type of sapling. Um, so that's a good way of getting some of the additional saplings that you need and other materials as well. So um, by doing that, it will use up some of the mud. And it, if that happens and you just put more water in, put in another block of dirt, refill it. Simple, easy to do. Now, the next thing that we're going to look at, again, and this one's going to be using our lava bucket. Okay, When you have a cauldron with lava in it, you can use that to make obsidian. Now, again, it's much easier now than it was in Sky Factory 3. So when you have lava in there, you take yourself a bucket of water and just right-click. By doing that, it automatically takes the lava out and turns it into obsidian and puts that obsidian into your inventory. Now, if you remember in Sky Factory 3, it was a little bit more challenging. You had to have the lava in there. You had to right-click the water on top and then grab the water real quickly and different things like that. So this is much easier. And then you can just fill it up, do it again. 
So it's very easy with a, a decent water and lava supply to go ahead and make quite a bit of obsidian pretty early in the game. Uh, but that's some of the uh, most common uses for a cauldron. There are others, of course. Uh, but this is some of the stuff you're going to need the earliest in the game to make your saplings, get yourself lava, and then to be able to start making your obsidian. Um, so that is all there is to that. Um, so again, pretty simple build, simple use. Um, if you have any questions about using a cauldron or any questions about any of my tutorials, be sure to put them down in the comments. I'm happy to try to answer as best I can. Um, also, if you have any suggestions for other tutorials that you'd like to see, uh, throw them in there as well. I'm always looking for recommendations. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, found it helpful, please be sure to click like, and more importantly, be sure to subscribe to my channel uh, to see all my tutorials and content as they come out. So, thank you very much. Have a good day.